guys how are you guys doing so in today's video we are going to mark our basic measurements right that's the first thing we have to do we have to go ahead and mark our basic measurements so first thing first is we have our shoulder to arm o shoulder to arm o we have shoulder to arm o we have nine and half inches shoulder to arm o nine and half inches shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to bust 10 inches bust to waist 9 inches bust to waist we have 9 inches waist to hip waist to hip we have 9 inches waist to hip we have 9 inches waist to knee length waist to knee length we have 18 inches now i know you might want to ask me that you know how did we come across all these measurements i have a detailed video on size chart which i'm going to link on the screen and also in the description box below and you can also order for our size chart so in the size chart in the comprehensive size chart that is available it helps you to know you know all the measurements for all sizes so i've gone ahead now to connect the lines together so the next thing we are basically going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our under bust our shoulder to under bust we have 14 and half inches we have 14 and half inches for shoulder to under bust so once we have that we go ahead and we connect this together and this is what we have this is our arm o our bust under bust and our waist measurement so now let's go ahead now and mark our dart so our dart measurements is nine nine divided by two we have four and a half inches we'll go ahead and mark four and a half inches on the bust line four and a half inches on the under bust four and a half on the waistline four and a half inches and also on our hip line we we'll also go ahead and mark four and a half inches so once we are done we we'll go ahead and connect the lines together connect the lines with a straight line right and you also connect it to the bust line so this is basically what we are going to have now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark half inch on our waistline half inch on our waistline both sides like we have half inch here and we also have half inch go ahead and connect the half inch to the bust area connect the half inch to the bust this way and also connect the half inch to the bust so this is what it is look, looks like which is just our basic dart and then we'll connect the half inch on the waist to the hip line we'll connect the half inch on the waist to the hip and this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to come to our under bust. We are going to come to the under bust effect. This is our under bust. And then we will mark half inch on both sides on our under bust. Half inch on both sides on the under bust. Half inch on both sides on the under bust. Now connect it to the bust line this way. Just the way we did for our dad. Connect it now you can see what we have the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to use our pattern master and connect the under bust to the waist we'll go ahead and Now, making use of our pattern master, we'll go ahead and connect what we have on our underbust to the waist. 
and i'll be making use of this curved effect on my pattern master to connect the lines together so i'll also do the same on both sides once we are done this is what it looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is your dart line this is our under bust line this is the the line for our under bust right and this is the line for our dart so the dart line go ahead and extend it to your shoulder you can see i've gone ahead to extend it to the shoulder now on this shoulder line i'll go ahead and mark five inches I'll go ahead and mark five inches. I'll connect it to the bust line. This is just to give us the bustier effect. Connect it to the bust line. And this is what we have. So by the time we go ahead and close this up, you can see by the time we close this up, automatically, what can you guys notice? You can see that the bust area has already popped out, right? giving it that bustier effect so we we'll go ahead now and mark our bust measurements so for the bust measurements now we have for our bust measurements now we have 13 inches i'll go ahead and mark 13 inches for our bust our waist measurements we have 12.25 12.25 i'll go ahead and mark 12.25 on the hip measurements we have 14 inches on our hip measurements we have 14 inches right now let's go ahead and connect our hip to waist making use of your pattern curve so connect your hip to waist and of course connect the waist to the bust line so once you connect it this is what you have i'm sure you can automatically see the shape effect now the next thing we are going to do is to mark our shoulder but before you mark your shoulder measurements please go ahead and close up this shoulder part this is because it gives you the accurate measurements once you've closed your shoulder so our shoulder measurements now is 18 divided by 2 we have 9 we'll go ahead and mark it you can see i close the shoulder so after that now i'll be making use of my arm or curve to connect my shoulder line to my bust line i'll use it to connect my arm hole. so this arm or curve makes it very easy for you to get your accurate arm or shape so this is what we have now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark out our neckline so for the wideness of the neckline i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of our neckline three inches for the wideness now for the deepness it's somewhere around our under bust so what i'm going to do is a v shape neckline so i'll basically just go ahead and mark our v shape is a v-shaped neckline so this is what we have as our neckline this is our shoulder dash that we are going to close this is our bustier effect and of course we have our bust waist and our hip now this is a long gown don't forget that so what we have is a long gown and it's going to have slits so for our waist our hip now we have 14 inches for our hip in this form of gown you can either decide to deduct one inch from your hip measurement that is if you want it to be a bit pencil or you can leave it that way it all depends on the effects you want at the end of the day so i have 14 inches i'm going to come to my knee length right and i'll also mark 14 okay i'm going to mark 13 and half because i'll just take in half inch i really don't want to take in so much so i'll just take in half inch so this 13 and a half that I have here is what I'm going to mark on the gown length. Is what I'm going to mark also on the gown length. Like I said, you can deduct, you can deduct one inch, half inch, or you can use exactly the same measurements you have for your hip. So once I've done that, for the sake of this video, I only took off half inch. So I'm basically going to connect it together you can see the gown length i just went ahead to mark it 
all the way to the left so i'll connect the 13 and a half inches to the knee now i'll connect it together and i'll connect it to the hip area connect it to the hip area so our dress is ready connect it to the hip area so our dress is ready so for this lower part of the dress you really don't need so much it's just marking whatever you have at your hip you can decide to deduct one inch half inch or you mark exactly the same thing and then you mark it all the way to your downward where we have the work for the effect is the upper part which i've explained earlier anyways what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and open up these pieces into two where we are going to have the upper part and we are going to have the lower parts in the process of opening this up if you have any questions please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section i'll cut this out and show you guys what i have after continuing so guys after cutting it out you can see what i have i have two pieces already let me adjust this after cutting it out you can see what we have we have two pieces this is of course we remember this is our shoulder point where we took off and also this is the dark area that we eventually cut out so this is what we have for the upper part where we have our bustier effect we are going to go ahead now and set this aside and for the lower part which is actually so easy for the lower part which is actually so easy we'll just go ahead and cut out this all the way down so i'll go ahead now and do that so guys now the next thing we want to do now is we want to cut out the back block we are done cutting out the front piece so for the back block now of course we have so for the back block now this is what we have we have our fabric our pattern paper oh god so this is what we have for the back block so the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and mark of course what we marked in the front block which is shoulder to arm o nine and a half inches shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to under bust 14 inches and we have our waistline because it stops at the waist so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead with my pattern master and then connect the lines together the back is actually very easy so connect the lines together so after connecting the lines together we are going to go ahead and mark our dart measurement so our dart measurement is four and a half inches we we'll mark four and a half inches on the bust and also four and a half inches on the waistline then we connect the lines together right on our waistline now because this is the back block we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides so that we can have our dart effect half inch on both sides and then we'll connect it to the bust line half inch on both sides and we'll connect it to the waistline so this is what the back block looks like so let's go ahead now and mark our basic measurement so for the shoulder we have nine inches for our shoulder we'll go ahead and mark nine inches nine inches for the shoulder for our bust measurements we have 13 inches waist measurements we have for the waist measurements we have 12.25 we'll connect the waist to the bust we'll connect our waist to bust and making use of our uh, arm open we we'll connect making use of our arm o curve we we'll connect our shoulder to our arm o and this is what we have so now for the neckline for the wideness of the neckline we are still going to have three inches 
we are going to have three inches but for the deepness i'm going to make use of one and a half inches because because the front block is already deep your back block shouldn't be deep anymore so we are going to have three inches by one and a half and of course i'm making use of a square um neckline so this is what we have for the neckline the next thing we are going to do now is on our armhole we are going to mark one inch on the armhole we'll mark one inch and then we'll connect it together to give us our shoulder slope so this is what we have for the back block you can see it is so easy this is what we have for the upper piece of the back block now because i don't want this video to be too long the only difference between the lower piece of the front piece and the lower piece of the back block is just adding two inches to the zip allowance adding two inches to your zip allowance which i'm going to add when we are cutting the fabric you can either add it directly on your pattern or you can add it when you are cutting your fabric so now i'll basically go ahead now and just cut this out and i'll show you guys how i'm adding it to the fabric so i'm making use of this um fabric and i'll be mixing it with this african print so you can see what it looks like it's gonna be beautiful so african fabrics african dresses are available so the link is going to be in the description box below so the first thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold this so for the upper piece of the front block i've gone ahead now to you know um pin the two pieces we have for the front piece so the next thing we are going to do now is we are basically going to go ahead and cut this out so don't forget that this is the center front you can see we are not cutting out this part and we'll just cut this so this is what we have for the front piece so this is what we have for the front piece of the lower block so you can see we have one single piece and we have all the length so we'll go ahead and set this aside thing we want to cut out now is the lower piece of the back block don't forget that i said you can cut out you know your zip allowance on the pattern paper also but for the sake of this tutorial i don't want it to be too long because the difference is basically just the zip allowance so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to place my pattern paper I'm going to place my pattern paper and I will leave two inches that will serve as my zip allowance. So I'm going to mark these two inches for my zip allowance now and I'll pin my pattern paper this way. So this here will serve as my zip allowance. So let's go ahead now and do that and then cut it out. And we'll have two pieces for the back block. So for the back block, the lower piece of the back block, you can see that I just added two inches which serve as a zip allowance. And of course we have two pieces. Trainings are available. You can sign up for online trainings. The link is going to be in the description box below. So now we are going to go ahead now and set this aside. Once you are done cutting it, you can see for the back piece now we are going to have two pieces look at how cute the fabric is fabrics are available and also online trainings so we are going to go ahead now and set this aside and cut out the upper piece of the front so guys for the back block we have two pieces this is the upper back block we have two pieces as you can see i've also gone ahead to iron it and i've also turned it with my lining or my interface so i have two pieces for the upper back block now for the lower back block also we also have two pieces now there's something i also want you guys to take note of i've also turned it with lining but this time around you can see that this is where our lining starts from as you can see this is where our lining starts from this is simply because i cut off my lining to be two inches or one and a half inches shorter than the main fabric so we have two pieces now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and join all the back block together so we have two pieces this way for the lower piece 
of the back block i'm also going to go ahead and join the upper piece to it join the upper piece to it this way so join the upper piece to it to give us one piece and also for the second piece of the upper block we'll also join it to it so by the time you join it you're going to have one piece for this side of the back block and you're also going to have one piece for this side of the back block so what you're going to use to attach this piece to this piece together is to go ahead and fix in your zip so once you've attached the upper piece and the lower piece of the back block to give you one piece then you go ahead and fix in your zip which i'll show you guys you know later so for the lower block now for the lower piece of the front block we have one piece and of course for the lower part also we've also turned it with our lining making sure that the lining is shorter than the main fabric so we have one piece this way and for the upper block also we've also gone ahead to you know couple up our bustier effect so can you see the bustier how you know can you see the structure of the bustier and we've also gone ahead to turn it with our lining so what we are just going to do now is basically just to turn all these pieces to one single piece so i'll go ahead now and attach the lower piece and the upper piece together for the front block to give us one single piece so guys for the back block we have one single piece we've gone ahead to attach the upper piece and the lower piece of the back block and also the upper piece and the lower piece of the back block and also i've also gone ahead to attach my zipper so that we can have one single piece for the back block now one thing you should also take note of is that when you are stitching the back block you are also to leave inches at the lower part because of the slit so this will serve as the slit as you can see is a very high slit somewhere around the knee area and when you flip it to the back this is what it's going to look like you have your zip always iron this makes your work to be very neat and of course we stop stitching somewhere here to give us our slits now one thing you also notice about this back block is the fact that you can see that the lining was shorter than the main dress this just gives it like neat finishing and also like you can see what we have so we have one piece now for the back block and for the front block now we've also gone ahead to attach the upper piece and the lower piece together and you can see our bustier effect you can see what the bustier effect looks like and i've attached this to give us one single piece now this is where the real work is going to be so the next thing we are going to do now so i've also you know this fabric that we're going to use to form our slits as you can see is matching the fabric so you're also going to determine what side do you want do you want it to start from this side up to this part or do you want it to start from here up to this part so it totally depends on you so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to you know put it at the edge this way mark out where you want it to start from mark out where you want it to start from so i want it so starting from the under bust so i'm going to place it from the under bust and then we are going to go ahead and form our pleating this way right so basically this is just what we want to do just like pleat it pleat it like give it a pleat a tiny pleat you know that's basically what we want to achieve so i'll go ahead now and start pinning this so i want you to start from my under bust i'll pin this here this way now i'll go ahead and you know form my pleats i have my pleats like this and like this i'll also go ahead and pin this so in this phase you are going to be working with a lot of pins but it's okay so we'll go ahead and pin this also right so let's just go ahead and do the rest so you can even see what it looks like you can see that you are having your shape coming out already right you can see what it looks like so keep doing that you know just pin it this way and also pin it this way so this is what we are going to have 
so look at how it is already so i'll go ahead and pin this so guys you can see that after um folding it like yeah, i have to place the back block on it so that we can stitch this part so this is what we have but this other part of your dress is still opened so the next thing we are going to do now is now to go ahead and you know oh make sure it is very straight make sure your fabric is very straight at this point because you don't want it to have like any form of foldings and all of that so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and place you know you can see what i'm doing trying to get all the curves all the pleating so So this is what we are going to achieve at the end of the day, right? But before we stitch this, so go ahead and arrange it. And then I'll also go ahead and pin it. If you have any questions, please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section. So I'll do just that carefully. Take it. Then I want this part to be tiny. So I have to just keep on like ah, I want it to be like this. So or should I take it up a bit? Yeah, I think taking it up a bit makes it finer. So I'll just I'll go ahead and paint that now. 